How are we doing? It's one o'clock on the button. You can tell I work for the BBC, can't you? This is Lavoie, one o'clock news, BBC. Live from her kitchen in second lockdown. What is happening with the world? What are we doing? What are you up to? Oh my gosh. Well, we're here again. We can't do anything about it. Some of you are probably thinking this isn't too bad. I'm still working. The kids are at school. Not for me. I am back having to cook every single meal for the next 30 days, hoping it's not longer. So grab yourself a cup of tea. There is no meaning to this live other than we need to talk. We need to catch up what is going on with the world. America, the election, people are putting their Christmas trees up. Let's talk fitness, food. Are you eating? Are you exercising? Are you starving yourself? Are you thinking, I'm giving up and I'm just going to eat every single donut I can find? Are you making your own donuts? What are you doing? What's getting you through? Talk to me, Facebook world. I need to know what's happening this afternoon. I've got my cup of tea. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Do you remember that programme, Britain's Got Talent? I was on it when there used to be an audience. Oh, yes, no Zoom wall for me. Now I had live people clapping, voting. Look where I am now. Sat in my kitchen on Facebook, so maybe let's not go there. Now, I want... Oh, my gosh, Luke is moving house. Now, I want to see the comments bigger. How can I make the comments bigger? Oh, no. Not like that. I don't want to write a comment to myself. Looking very Bobby today. Bobby who? Bobby Brown the rapper? Or Bobby, um, Bonnie. Do you think she meant Bonnie? Or oh, like from Scotland, you're looking very Bonnie this morning, like, oh. Ian Cutter from Tenerife. Thank you, Scott, darling. Well, I'm trying, I'm wearing white, it's brave. I feel like a beautician. Um, thank you, Mandy Barrett, if I got them out today. Oh, yeah, why well, do you know what? It's in lockdown. And I am facing my lounge window, so if my postman comes, I've also got, this dress is also very, very short. And I've sat down, and when you sit down, it rides up. Um, so uh, he's going to get more than a signature for his parcel if he drops off something, do you know what I mean? A bit of DPD. That's not... <laughs> That's a courier, not a uh, sexual offer. Um, Ian Stella, Ian, my darling. Look, now you'll, you'll be familiar to where I'm sat now. Ian Sterling is editing my fabulous Lavoie uh, family Zoom videos. The, the last one, we've done six weeks of these videos. The last episode is going live on YouTube next Thursday. Have you seen the penultimate one? It's on YouTube now. Oh, yes. Uncle Alan has got news on my mother, and I don't know what it is. I've got to wait for a week. Justin Hussey, Lavoie, I've got my Christmas deck. So, oh, there's so many comments. They're going so quickly, I can't read them. Uh, makes me happy. Do you know what? I'm going to put my tree up. Why does everything sound like a euphemism when I'm on a Facebook Live? I don't like it. I'm going to have some tea. Trip girls, tip. If you've got gloss on, like I know, uh, lick, your, lick your glass or your mug and then drink. And then your lipstick still comes off as normal. <laughs> so it's a useless tip. Useless. Absolutely useless. Um, oh, I'm liking that you're getting your tree up, Justin. You need to do that. Hello from London. Hope you're still doing Crimbo. Show at Crazy Cox, of course. Because the lockdown ends on the 3rd of... 2nd of December, 3rd of December. So of course I am. Because Boris has promised we'll be back open. Even though he's furloughed the scheme. It goes on till March. What are they not telling us? What are they not telling us? Uh, Ashley, you put your tree up this morning. Do you need a rest? Do you need a rest? And was it so? Um, needed a bit of sparkle. You need a bit of sparkle in your life, boys and girls. It's not long from Christmas. Get your decorations up. I am one of these people that's all for it. I'm not thinking, oh, please. It's just, you know, there's no need. Do it. Just think you can actually put your Christmas decorations up in proper places. Not have bits of tinsel flung around your house in random places. Because, you know, it's the week before and you've got no thought behind it. No, put them up properly. Maybe make your own. Could you be bothered? I mean, could you? Someone will be doing that. There'll be a YouTube tutorial from some crafty lesbian wanting to make paper chains. You can guarantee it. Probably from Brighton, they normally are, working on a craft market. My sister's second birthday, 2nd of December. Oh my gosh. And that is from uh, Catherine. Happy birthday to your sister. Good afternoon, John Hand. Mr. Hand is in. You know, it makes me, sound, makes me laugh. It sounds like a Mr. Man. Uh, Craig Sadler, I was honestly ready to put the tree up in July. Well, I nearly did the same thing, Craig. 
I've got my tree stuck in my beams. Don't know if anyone's had the same problem. I did invest in a fake tree, don't judge me, and I put it up in my loft and I can't get it down because it's wider than the beam thing I shoved it up in. I just belched, I apologise. Thank you, Ian Cutter. Hello, Cara from Brighton. Lots of love, everybody. Now, there's lots of people watching. What's the news? What are you up to? What do we think? Has the election news broke? Do we know if it's Biden or Trump? Do we know? Yet, we're still waiting for it in Nevada. Barbara, my friend Barbara, I shared a video with Barbara from Wisconsin the other day. She's been asked to go to Nevada to help out. I've asked her to send me a video later how it's going on, so you can probably expect more from Barbara later on. No, Conrad, no Waterman show. Boris said no. No, 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 I don't know why I made him sound like that. Uh, so no, no Waterman show. No uh, Hors uh, Horsham show. That's been moved to January. I've lost so much shows again. We were just getting back on track, Boris, and then you've closed it all again. That is Ronald McDonald behind me, if you're looking on my Alexa. There's... It's nice to have a picture of the fam... Oh, Alexa's come on now. Uh, it's nice to have a picture of the family, I find, around the house, don't you? I'm like this because I'm on the iPad and it's so big that I don't know where the camera is. <laughs> so if you think I'm going cross-eyed, I'm like this. It's not. It's just because I can't find the camera. Looking forward to your Christmas calendar. Marie, perfect timing for a plug. My love, are a better year, a better calendar. 2021 is on pre-sale now on my website, lovewart.co.uk. Grab it. This is going to be the most glamorous calendar I have done. The pictures are amazing. Took by gorgeous photographer Sol in Nottingham, before Nottingham went, you know, don't go to Nottingham because you'll die. Um, he took those and they are being worked on now by the amazing Simon. And the calendar is going to be phenomenal. If you need a bit of sparkle in January, if you need me in a glittery frock telling you it's all going to be all right, you need to get yourself a calendar. But dirt cheap. And do you know what? It wouldn't really help me because I've got no work. So I would really appreciate if you could go on there. Buy them as a Christmas gift. Amazing stocking filler. I'm not doing many because I can't afford to. Uh, so I'm not doing many. Get them while you can. Limited, limited, limited. And uh, do you know what? It would mean the world to me. You can buy a calendar. Lavoir.co.uk. I put so much love in them and I am determined, as I slip off my armrest, to make 2021 a more sparkly and happy year for all of you lot that support me. And thank you from the bottom of my heart for those of you that do. Put a sticker below your camera. Julie, I've done that. That is my tip. You cannot tell me, Julie, my tip to put a sticker next to me. I put two. There is one either side. Look, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you now for proof. Because I can't believe I told you all to do that. And I'm the one who, right, I'm the one. Look, that is my camera. The dots are either side of it. What more do I need, Lavoie? What more do you need? Stop looking over here. You're getting me angry. Don't get me angry. Thank you, John Patrick Finnegan. Begin again. Um, this dress is by Lavish Alice. It's nice, isn't it? It's got very, very long sleevey things, and I like this because it covers. You know what it's like, girls? You put your foundation on. I'm tanned to here, and then look at my arm. It's pasty. See, this covers my pasty arms. And you can't put Mac face and body all over yourself because I'm wearing white. I mean, I look just like some trampy girl who's covered in makeup. Julie Thomas, I do not need glasses. Thank you very much. I have 2020 vision when I went to the opticians in 2008, so I am fine. Thank you very much. I am studying in lockdown, working deep. Working deep. I don't know if that's something we should. Where's my powder puff gone? I have a powder puff next to me. Oh, it's on the floor. Well, that's not going to happen. I'm going to have to block myself with um, Love Heart napkins. Now, I've got a dewy spray on, and I don't like it. I don't like dewy. I don't like dewy, and I don't like highlighter. I'm a child of the 80s. I want matte. Shh. This is a, a new, that new palette I bought from Huda Beauty, that um, uh, pastels, pastels, perfect pastels, that well-known brand. Uh, and it was limited edition. And I think it's like a peacock, isn't it? Oh, look at me peacocking in my kitchen. Are you alone? I am, Julie, I'm alone. Joanne's in Bradford. She's not on the radio show anymore. She's moved back to Bradford while she could before the lockdown. So, you know, if she'd been down here, so she's back in a compound, probably binding the calendars by hand. Handmade, my calendars. Thank you very much. Um, how do you always look stunning? Lorraine, I don't. 
I don't look, always look stunning, it's a lie, don't, don't, don't believe it. Uh, what else are we talking about? Biggins, my show with Christopher Biggins was meant to be on last night, of course, in uh, Tunbridge Wells, cancelled. I spoke to him this morning, he's going to pop on my BBC radio show tomorrow, uh, 12 till 2, BBC Three Counties. Uh, so if you're missing your Biggins and Lovoir fix, you can catch us live on the BBC tomorrow. He's going to come on and, and do that so we can do a bit of a, a catch up. He's got it. Yeah, he was in hospital recently for a heart operation. So I was lucky to get him as it was. Do you know what I mean? So I've got him on the radio. So don't you worry. Biggins fix coming your way. Three Counties Radio tomorrow, 12 till 2. John Hand, I've become a supporter, but it's not letting me choose. My lovely gift, by the way. Then what is it? Oh, John, I'll have to speak to Joanne. She does all that support. She does, Joanne's the tetanus thing. I'm the technophobe. I just sit here and talk. Sometimes I don't even know how to end it. So I will get in touch with that. Joanne, if you're listening, uh, John has become a supporter and he wants to choose his lovely gift. You too can become a supporter. You're going to get a lot more from the supporters very, very soon. Miss Leeds is in the house. There we go. Welcome, Malcolm Paul Simmons. Dino Klein, big love from Surrey. Dino Klein. Sounds like you're, uh, you know, got an accent there. Sounds like you're a Jamaican that's a um, uh, bank card hasn't gone through in a transaction. Dino Klein. It's probably very offensive. Let's move on. Bless his cotton's poor biggins. Well, don't worry, he's fine. He's all, in fact, he's the, the, the operation was a success. And now he's storming through life, waiting. Can't wait to be on the radio show with me tomorrow. Uh, I am studying to be a gym instructor. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Catherine has lost seven and a half stone and I want to help other people with their physical and mental health. Catherine, cheers! Seven and a half stone, that's more than I weigh. Stop it, be nice. Um, can you sing Vera Lynn? We'll meet again. Don't know where, don't know when, but I know we'll meet again some sunny day. Gotta end it like Judy. Day will meet again. Don't know where, don't know when. Shirley Bassey, I don't know, we'll meet again. Some sunny day. Thank you. Shirley Bassey's new album dropped yesterday. Ah, oh, how do you listen to it? It's amazing. It is amazing. Shirley Bassey, uh, what's it called? Um, I, owe, I owe it all to you. Oh my God. You've just got to listen to it. It's just incredible. I can't play it because Facebook will block me for music. Um, that's the album. Grab yourself that album on Spotify. And my favourite song is... Oh my God, it's so good. Look But Don't Touch. I think that's going to be the 2021 tour. Share. We'll meet again. Don't know where. Don't know where. Woo, I'm so high. But I know we'll meet again some sunny day. Woo! See you in Vegas. Very well tour 2021. Thank you. And Liza, we'll meet again. <laughs> yes, I don't know where. I don't know even when. But I know we'll meet again. Sham, sham, knee, day. Yes, kush blash. Have you heard Dolly's new Christmas album? Yeah, oh, Justin, it's amazing. All the divas are dropping albums. Because they're all, got, you know, they're all sat at home. I think I'm going to beat them. Can you play Gibson Brothers, Cuba and Dance Love? Well, I can't play it now because Facebook will ban me. Um, but I can play it on the radio tomorrow. BBC tomorrow, BBC tomorrow. I love going in the BBC. Love I was born to work for the BBC. We're in radio. I've also got something very exciting. Something is happening very, very soon in a magazine. Shut up, front door. Shut up, front door. Number one is not only on the radio, not only now in print, but she's also theatre. What else do I do? Cabaret. I just need TV. I've done a movie. And what do I need? Television. I'm in print. Mom, this is very, very exciting. No, seriously, this is something you can pick up at the supermarket when you're doing your food shop. You'll look over and you'll go, I cannot believe Lavoie is on the front cover of that magazine. 
don't know if I'm on the front cover yet, but I'm working on it. Thank you, Tracy Green. Now, I literally just came outside and you appeared. Julie, it's meant to be. I'm like an apparition. I'm like a genie in pantomime. Poof. Don't say poof. That's probably offensive. So my fan base. You need to do this chat every day. Every day, Maria. I am not doing this every day. But do you know what I will do? I will do it at least once a week. Should we do every Saturday? Should we do every Saturday, darlings? Um, like I say, every Saturday in lockdown, one o'clock, should you have a cup of tea? Is that a good day for everyone? I think it is, because some people are working. And I don't want to think, what would you want me to sing, Jessie Ann? Kind of groovy. You got me feeling kind of groovy, it makes me oozy on inside. Ain't gonna lie. Just wanna move, I'm in the groove, I'm feeling free, don't wanna hide. Ain't gonna lie. I don't know what to say. Every time you go away, I'm missing you, boy, every day. Baby, don't, baby, don't, baby, don't, baby, don't go. You got me feeling kind of groovy. Love that song. That was written for me for Eurovision. How many people know that? We need Queens of the Kitchen back. Craig, I am not cooking with Rosemary Shaver in my kitchen in lockdown too. I love you all. I love Rosemary. I adored it. But we are not there. We are not there scrimping for flour in the supermarket anymore. We're moving on. We're moving on. We can still do this. We can get through four weeks without me making dumplings in my kitchen. Um, but I am going to put all the series on uh, YouTube so you can make those sausage rolls. Do you remember the sausage rolls? Oh my God. The best sausage rolls we ever, ever made was in that Queen's of the Kitchen. My God. I'm going to put it on YouTube. You can make them this month. So you can still do all the recipes. But um, I, Rosemary's busy. Rosemary's got book deals coming out. She's got television shows. I was lucky to get it when I can. Sounds like a good time for a cuppa. Do you think so, Veronica? Do you think one o'clock every Saturday in lockdown? Should we just check in? I'm going to do an hour. 15 minutes in. And you're probably already bored already. Thank you, Catherine. You're getting married all in white. I, trust me. If I was getting married, I would not wear white. Been there, done that. My lovely partner, Giuseppe from Italy. We got married a while ago. But he was always seeing someone else. He had about 55 women on the go. I discovered it. He said to me, love what? Carissima. Uh, I can count the lovers I have had on one hand. I said, yes, if you're holding a calculator, Giuseppe. So that had to go. Had to go. Then my boyfriend, Tyrone. Tyrone. Oh, yeah, he was a big boy. He was a big boy. We could still have passionate moments and keep two metre distance. Work that one out on an afternoon. Yes. But I struggle with men. I struggle with men. Always have done. Always have done. I sometimes find uh, men are like parking spaces. All the good ones are gone, and the ones that are left are either too small or disabled. So it's a tricky world. It's a very, very tricky world out there. Um, oh my God, thank you. I love it when you sing kind of good. I watch it on YouTube and on stuff. Oh, Jesse, thank you, my darling. Now, uh, was that one thumbs up? One thumbs up. Not even a laugh to love heart, and I'm giving my all here. One person went, oh, I'll give her a thumbs up. I'm not hitching a ride. I'm doing a Facebook Live. What is your show, favourite show on Netflix? Donna, I don't know, and I need some... What are you all watching on Netflix? Can we have some recommendations, please? Um, oh, I love how it's coming. Look, thank you, darlings. Um, what are you all watching on Netflix? I need some of you. I'm trying to watch Haunted on Blind Manor, but I'm, I, I find sometimes I find these series get winged out. How can they do seven series of something? I'm over it by episode three, and there's fifty five thousand episodes. They don't go anywhere. They're like filler in episodes, aren't they? I could write much better. If you're listening, Netflix, you need to get me on your writing team. I'm warm in this house today. Uh, so tell me, yes, I got my Britney Spears talent mug. This was given to me by Simon Cowell just before I pushed him off his electric bike. Um, what do you want to watch on Netflix? Any recommendations? It's Andy the Ginger Guy that came to Richmond in the series, Sam Atkinson. Uh, my birthday on Tuesday. What's he asking me to do? Can you see more? Hello, Horton, darling boy. Oh, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear Horton, and anyone else who's celebrating your birthday before you all mess me and ask me to sing it. Happy birthday to you, and many more. People know that. Oh, it sounded like Shirley. And many more. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Horton. Shirley, have a fabulous birthday. Oh, and it's not Horton. It's, I got the name wrong. I did all that and I got the bloody name wrong. Oh, I just, oh, apologies. Hundrew. Hundrew. Who calls themselves Hundrew? Were your parents drunk when they were naming you? You're not a hamster, are you? What we're going to call it? Uh, 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 Hundrew. 
She meant to say Andrew, but she'd have 55 gin and tonics when she named you. Oh, Hanzu. Hanzu. <coughs> offensive. So offensive. It's Mark Red from A1's birthday today. He's 43. 40. God, you know you're getting old when A1 are 43. Everybody else here needs to hit the button and become a supporter. Yes, they do. Support. Support the arts. Hashtag. The show must go on. I don't know why I'm singing everything today. I'm not glossing today. Gardening. Oh, well, I could do gardening because I'm glossing at the same time. I'm all for that. See, Jane, Ma are you a celebrity? How dare you? Of course I'm a celebrity. I'm the biggest name around the world. Stars come to me for advice. They only don't put me on the TV shows because I know fine well I tell them exactly what I thought about it. Oh, yes. You won't see me on some programme doing my blusher, calling it prime time. No. I'll wait till good entertainment comes back. Thank you very much. Um, Callum Stephen Mercer, can I have a signed Dettol wipe? How did you know they were there? Oh, I got sent something by Trini London today. Trini London have sent me some makeup bits today. Trini London, thank you, my darlings. I'll be checking that out later. I'll do a little review for you guys. Because Trini does all those stacky makeup things. I think they're really handy. Trini and Susanna Trini. Oh, yeah, she's got her makeup line. Love it. Justin Hussey, I'm a mega star. Stop it. You're going to make me blush. You're going to make me the same. I'm looking down because my chair's falling apart. I've lost my footrest. What is your favourite cake to bake? Oh, well, I'm not good at baking, so anything I've made isn't my favourite. I'm going to say my favourite cake to eat. Uh, oh, I like carrot cake with cream cheese on the top. I know some of them like that. Victoria sponge. Victoria sponge has got to be. Got to be. Are you a man? Nice bust. Are we, what is this? Bird of Man in 1970. Are you a man? Nice bust. Get off the comments if you're going to be so offensive. Hashtag me too. Um, it is a nice bust. I quite agree. I've been a supporter for six months. You're worth it, darling. Lorraine, thank you, my darling. When are we getting the pink love wire lipstick? I am trying, but the calendars are coming out soon because they're more time, um, uh, time, what's the word? Time pressing, time pressing, time, time efficient. What's the word I'm looking for? If something is, you need to do it by a certain time. It's that's time heavy. <laughs> the word. Help me. Help me. Uh, just had a slice of coffee and walnut. Julie's someone to notice. She's had coffee and walnut cake at quarter past two on the first Saturday of lockdown. Oh, she's living life. Uh, living life, that one. Uh, time appropriate. Is that the right one, Andrew? Time pressured. That's good. Time consuming. <laughs> well, it is time consuming, but not for me. I did the pictures in June. Time critical. What am I? Time sensitive. That's the one I wanted, Neil Drury. Raising a cup of tea to the Drury's. I've just made a chocolate sponge cake. I mean, I'm sorry, but how did you have the time? Do you DJ in pubs, love? No, I don't do pubs and clubs. I do international theatres, a BB radio show and a column in a magazine that's coming out very soon. Thank you very much. DJ, what do you think I am? Gokwan? Oh, you've seen me twice. 5,000 shows I've done at Eden. You've seen me twice. Where have you been? Uh, thank you, Charlotte. You brighten up my day with your Facebook chats. Craig, it's what I'm born to do. You cannot come on here ranting about politics, elections, quarantining. No, make yourself a cup of tea and just forget it. Moaning about it on social media doesn't help. You need to just let off steam. Go for your hour's walk. If you see a neighbour, say, back off, you might kill me. And if they're old... Don't cough on them. And if you're going to a care room, well, don't go. You're not allowed in. There's only three people left in them. That is Ronald McDonald in the background. That is a lovely picture of my father. How dare you call him that? Uh, sorry, got to go. We'll tune in three counties tomorrow. Thank you, Veronica. As I always say on Facebook, you know he's telling me you're going. I wouldn't know. You could just slip off, message me later and say, loved watching the whole hour. I wouldn't know, Veronica. Same when I'm in a theatre show and the lights are in my eyes. There could be three people in that audience. I could start off with 5,000, but by the end there might be three. But I'm used to that. It's fine. Uh, we were lucky to see you last show in Cardiff. Love Cardiff. I was trying to get myself in the... Um, Lady Boys of Bangkok, Pink Tent. I think that is the campest thing I've ever seen. Uh, View a Christmas Live. What I might do. 
on Christmas Day. I'm blotting myself with love heart napkins, keeping the love alive. Can we have a word about my strange cabbage I've got on display? What is this houseplant all about? Is that a succulent? Some leaves are going a bit brown on the end. My cabbage is turning brown. Could someone please put on Facebook, Love Mars cabbage is turning brown, any advice? I don't think it's a cabbage. What is that? Anyone on a gardening group? Can anyone name? Look at that! Wiggling finger. Oh, teasing my succulent. <laughs> can you say teasing my succulent on a Facebook Live? I don't, you can. Uh, oh, thank you, Justin, for listening to the album. I am uh, recording some Christmas songs very, very soon. Very excited. Let's hear those sleigh bells ringling, ting, 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 ling, too. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. It's November, Lavoie. Stop singing Christmas songs. Loved your malaria video you did. Did I do a malaria video? Can you explain? I don't think I've done a malaria video. Scott Tosansky. Can we just stop there? That is a fabulous name. Scott, where are you from? Where is Tosansky from? Tosansky, you're Russian. Scott Tosansky, from Russia. Or are you Tosansky? It sounds like a wardrobe in Ikea. I would see your doctor if your cabbage is brown. <laughs> Do you like Paloma Faith? Love Paloma Faith. Play your own kind of music. <coughs> Sing your own special song. It's early. You're nobody up in the lawn. I worked at Paloma Faith at the Palladium. If anyone saw me at the Palladium, she was my special guest. Along with Mel C. Is it Mel C? Yeah. Oh, there was a little 16 year old girl inside of me. When that Spice Girl walked on stage next to me, I thought, oh, it's amazing, it's Sporty Spice. If you want to be my lover, poof, high kick. Is it a brassica? Or is it showing? Oh, the plant. Well, it might be. Is it a brassica, anyone? Could someone Google brassica? Lavoie's brassica's gone brown. Lavoie brassica. That sounds a good name. It's like you got married. Do you, Lavoie, take Stavros brassica to be your wife? You are now called Lavoie brassica. I'm in Leeds, but from Poland. Says it all. I've been to Poland and I've also been to Leeds. Scott, go back to Poland. Go back to Poland now! People in Leeds have got too many shops they can't deal with them. Well, they're all closed now. What are they going to do in Leeds? Leeds is amazing for shopping. If you haven't been, Leeds is amazing. Merch Steve lives in Leeds. He retired, moved to Blackpool, and suddenly the town got rejuvenated. I'm just putting it out there. Melania. Melania, I mean, it's a tablet. It changed it. I was going to say Stuart. I don't think I did a malaria video. Uh, love your Facebook Live say brighten up our days. Well, do you know what? You lot brighten up my day. I cannot believe that I've got the luckiness. We've got about 400, 500 people watching this so far. Uh, and I am honoured that you all tune in to watch me because I'm slightly uh, screwed short of a picnic. <laughs> Stop saying anything. Sandwich short of a picnic. Although if you go on a picnic and you have a screw, well, you're either good at DIY or it was your lucky day. Lavoie, how are you? Looking amazing. Say, what's your secret? Luke, time is my secret. Time to do it. Don't rush your makeup. Don't rush getting ready. And time to have enough surgery for it to heal so you don't actually look 40 like I am. Do I look a bit more? Do you want a lift? Oh, look, that looks good. Look, I've got a jowly bit here. Oh, yes. Dr. Khan, if you're listening, can you come round mine and give me a little facelift in lockdown? You should be available on the National Health. I could be a key worker, Justin. Oh, well, I've got a BBC lanyard. I could have an NHS lanyard. I think we're onto something. Uh, NHS, if you're listening, whoever started it, Norman Harry Smith. Uh, I want that job, please. Love to see you as a man. Paul, will you stop this as a man? I'm not a man. I am Lavoie. I'm an international showgirl travelling the world, spreading the words on beauty, showbiz, singing, health and uh, uh, the odd flu remedy. Don't be caught with that. Hello, Indra, my darling, raising my cup of tea to you. I wish a cup of tea lasted an hour. I need someone to make me another one. A brassica. Oh, hang on. Update on the plant. If you're looking at this, my cabbage has gone brown. A brassica is a plant of genus, of a genus that includes cabbage, swede, rape and mustard. You cannot say rape on a Facebook Live. Tar past one. Rape and mustard. Oh, sounds like the title of my book. 
Uh, Lynn, how about you look beautiful? Thank you, my darling. Good looking as normal, my love. Great seeing you. John ramped a walker. That's quite good. John, you should set up a company that sells ramps for people who can't go up steps. Or walkers. Because your name, John Rampton Walker. You were selling ramps in walking frames. I mean, your name's born for it, isn't it? Born to it. Thank you, Justin. Can you please keep telling people that? They'll ask me if I'm that. Um, you can see the brother Darren. Well, there we go. That's my brother Darren. He might come on here soon. I am a key worker, Neil, aren't I? I am a key worker. It's not a brassica. It's a succulent. Will you stop all arguing over my cabbage? I agree. I think it is a succulent. This is a poncettia. I don't know what that thing is, that spiky thing there. I've got a very, very large cactus. Look, can you see there to the left? Very large cactus. And two avocados that will not ripen. Every morning, all I want is smashed avocado on toast. And they rock hard, my avocados. Every morning I come down, squeeze my avocados, and they go, they're not ripe. Smashed. It's a very dramatic name, isn't it, for pressing with a fork. Uh, George is loving you. Is George loving? Hello, George! George is a parrot. Regina Dwight has a parrot. My friend Regina has a parrot, 55 chickens, three cocker spaniels and a rash. But I don't judge her. She keeps them all outside in a pen. She keeps trying to get them round to go in a hot tub. I said, I don't know when she last put chlorine in that. I think she puts toilet duck around the rim and hopes for the best, honestly. Would you ever do drag race? No. Why would I want to do that? I don't make my own clothes. I don't do my own hair. I don't mind. Everything about that show is not made for me. I would look a disgrace. Good luck to them. I don't want to be singing in a bar. And first of all, I've done ITV primetime. Why would I want to do online iPlayer? Thank you. So did I, John, buy frozen avocado? Hang on, hang on, hang on. What's this? Buy frozen avocado. I've had too many black... Hang on, Alison. Can you buy frozen avocados? This is a revelation. Explain. Are they in cubes? They're not whole, obviously. I need to know. Alison, where do I buy them? What do they look like? How do you defrost them? Are they as good as fresh? Ooh, I'm not sure if I'm liking the sound of frozen avocados. Call me a snob, but I like, I like, I do buy guacamole sometimes. I just do that, but it doesn't last very long. What would you be in the garden? What would you be in the garden, Lavoie? What do you mean, what would I be in the garden? What plant? I would be a rose bush. A bright red rose bush. The red flower, obviously, for my hair, looks pretty. A bit prickly when you're not expecting it. A few pricks here and there that you weren't expecting. And then also prone to a, you know, a bit of a fungal infection. I'm sharing too much. But that would be me. And need feeding. But don't be putting, you know, horse manure around your feet. I don't want that. Uh, I like gardening. This is my garden behind. If I turn my light down a little bit, you might be able to get to see my lovely paddock. If I dim that. No, you can't see anything. Uh, my nieces are gutted they can't see you in pantomime. Oh my God, I cannot tell you how gutted I am that pantomime isn't happening. I'm mortified. I live for pantomime every single year. Uh, we'll have to do an online panto. Could you imagine? I'm not doing it. Don't get any ideas. Put, hang on. Yes, Tesco's. Okay, Tesco's do frozen avocados. Put your avocados near bananas. Oh, so I need to, Yes, yes, yes. Just I've heard this. I need to go buy some bananas. Can someone send me some bananas from Amazon? Don't you dare. If I wake up, it's 25,000 boxes of bananas. Uh, does Regina scratch the rash? You need to ask it yourself. Sounds like a game show. I think your long pointy plant is commonly known as mother-in-law's tongue. Thank you. I think it is. You're right. I bought myself a white ponsettia. Oh yes, cutting edge. Love the answer. Go on, my beautiful one. I mean, ask me a question. All ask me. A, hang on, a question. Let's do some questions. Um, a pansy. How dare you, Paul? Uh, let me go. I'm cutting this. Have you tried her uh, placing unwrapped candies in a brown paper bag with an apple or a banana for two or three days? No, but I've got brown paper bags because Joanne used to work on the market and she gave me some brown paper bags held together with string. So I might try that. I'm going to put my avocado in a dark place. Lamisil once is amazing. What's Lamisil, Alan? Ask me a question. You have got 25 minutes. Q&A with Lavoie, please. Lavoie is on the couch. If Regina's watching, she's doing chit-chat with celebrities. Now is your time, Regina. Interview me. I'm blotting myself with a napkin. Lorna Lies convinced me to join with an online panto with her. I'm the fairy godmother waiting for the costume. Oh my God, it's amazing. Please invite me. Please invite me. I want to see it. 
We loved hearing your Don't Forget Me. Loved that. What do you cook for yourself when you're, not al when you're alone? Spaghetti bolognese, um, tandoori chicken, anything with meat because Joanna's vegan. See, I like the bacon. I'm from the, you can't take the girl out the north. Um, I like, uh, I like pasta. I'm like my Italian food. Carbonara. Oh, carbonara. Spaghetti bolognese, uh, curries. Um, what else do I cook for myself? That's about it. The cream of our game me means it's not itchy. See, people are sharing their rash. Oh my God, there's so many questions. Who inspired you to become a performer, a, a, a performer, an amazing act in New York called Lip Syncer? Surprisingly, because I don't mind, uh, was what got me started. Uh, and I was inspired And Liza Minnelli. Liza Minnelli and Barbara Streisand was the first ever person I saw live in a concert on VHS. And I was like, I need to do that. How does one person get that level of response from that many people? I needed to do that. And I'm glad to say I have um, done so many shows that have given me that buzz. Uh, Gainer, any PO crews planned for 2021? Uh, can't possibly say. They have been in touch. I'm very excited. Are they going to happen? We know as much as you. So keep your fingers crossed. Is your red hair fake? No. How dare you? Uh, if your headline, a West End show, what would it be? Ooh. I'd like to go Danny LaRue's footsteps do Hello Dolly. I would, uh, no, what am I talking about? <clears throat> Norma Desmond, Sunset Boulevard. I don't know why I'm frightened. I know my way around here. Norma Desmond, Sister Boulevard, born to play that part. Get me a turban, I'll do it now. I put that as my first choice, but got very good with it. Um, <laughs> obviously red, red is my favorite color. Uh, yellow is my favorite color, surprisingly enough, yellow. Are you gonna watch uh, Children in Need? Uh, I read a virtual audience, we also did some, of course I'm watching Children in Need, I work for the BBC. Oh, I've probably got to plug that tomorrow, I've been on the radio. You get sent all these emails. You've got to do the good supporting things, and now I'm part of the BBC, I can do it. Uh, don't trust the cream of what gave <laughs> When you stop giving vagina thrush advice, I'd love to see you in a musical, just I'd love to do a book musical. That's one of my dreams, to be in a role in a show that's scripted and all that stuff. Could you imagine? I wouldn't be able to learn it. That's why I love doing pantomime. I love being part of a company because my shows are all one woman shows. So it's so nice to be able to share the responsibility. I can walk off stage, you know, the, the show's still going on. When I'm off stage in my own show, it's because Joanna's been slow with a zip. What are you hoping for for a Christmas present this year? Oh, Mandy, good question. Um, I have reconnected with so many friends over this whole year. That's meant the world to me. So without getting mushy, material things, they do matter. People that say Christmas shouldn't be material. Sod you, I want presents. Uh, but I want to see my friends. What would I like for Christmas? New shoes. Some new dresses and uh, a tuning fork for when I sing. That's what I'd like. Uh, can you dance, Lavoie? Have you had any lessons? I went to dance college. Yes, I could dance. I went to college. No, I'm not too bad. I can pick up a routine. Oh, you can see me do a box step in your pantomime, but I forget it. Short term memory. I forget things. I can tap in my new tour. Did I just throw that in there? Oh, yes. Yeah, so I'm, a, I'm a known for my ball changes in the industry. Bonnie Langford taught me everything I know. If I was in a if you were in a musical, what would it be? Again, Sunset Boulevard, Norma Desmond. Good. If there's any producers watching, can we please do Sunset Boulevard with Lavoie? Thank you. Everything about that role is back to me. Are the ships still in the bay here? Sitting on the dock of the bay, wasting time. Why don't you come and hijack? Want to do a show? All right, let's do it. How long did it take you to put your face on? Two hours, Paul. Always has, always will. I, I don't like to rush. If your life was a film, who would you, who would play you? Hmm. Who would play me? Uh, I'd like to say Meryl Streep. I think Melissa McCarthy, I like her sense of humour. Um, someone a bit nutty and a bit off the wall. Who would play me in a movie? Ooh. <coughs> Melissa McCarthy. I'm going to say that. I'd love to see you in La Cage. Uh, I'd love to do Le Cage, Jamie, again. I love that show. I would love to play Alban in Le Cage. Uh, give us a bit of sun time. Uh, good times and bad times. I've seen them all, and my dear, I'm still here. I put the 
Scanties in my shoes. Strum ukulele, song the blues. I've lived through Shirley Temple. Was I amused? That's not the words. I've been through something, something. I'm still here. Terrible song. The no, no, great song. I'm terrible. Sorry, the words. Uh, I'm just a Broadway baby. Walking off my tight feet, pounding 42nd Street to be in a show. Well, I'm not because they're all closed, aren't they? Are you going to sing at the Pence inauguration? Yes. What should I sing? Uh, he's just a Broadway baby, learning how to sing and dance. I'll oh, be quite apt. He's quite old, isn't he? Uh, where would you like to visit next? I want to go to Antarctica, Canada and Easter Island. Very random. I want to see the statues on Easter Island. I want to just go to Antarctica and see real penguins in their natural habitat. And you can do a cruise there. Hello, I want to do that. And Canada, never been. Never been. I want to see the Canadians and see a moose. <laughs> can you eat moose? Do they eat moose in Canada? That would be quite a big spare rib, wouldn't it? Moose. I don't mean chocolate moose. I mean, moose. what sound does a moose make? Do you have a boyfriend? He's lucky going to bed with a man and a woman at the same time. Paul, will you get off this man conversation? Thank, thank you. I'm not reading out any more comments like that. Can you tap dance? Yes, I can. I do it in my show, Pudding on the Ritz. Uh, I'm doing it in my Christmas show as well, if you book for Crazy Cox. <laughs> oh, yes. Tap dancing all the way. The legs are a bit tricky. I got Heather Mills to do the choreography, so I might be hard to pick up with them. Uh, would... I'd love to tap dance with you. Lynn, can you tap? Let's do it. I bet you'd be amazing in hairspray. Well, I use enough. Oh, I could do hairspray. Big, blonde, and beautiful. You want me to play the mother? I'm not playing the mother. Welcome to the 60s. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Hey, mama, hey, mama, look at me. I don't know why I do that like um, a fraggle. Would you do I'm a Celeb to get me out here? Totally. Spiders, rats, bugs, don't scare me. Wouldn't faze me at all. Get me in a tank, tip a cockroach on me head, give me a star. Thank you very much, ITV. Good night. I'd love to do that show. Although I'm not doing it in bloody Wales. Normally, what do we have? People in the Versace Hotel, celebrities eating kangaroo bum in the middle of the forest. What have we got this year? Wales, Colleen Nolan eating black pudding and a Welsh cake. It's hardly cutting edge, is it? How's Joanne? Is she back in her stable? Yes, she is. Ruby Wax. I tried to get Ruby Wax on my radio show tomorrow. Uh, she couldn't do it. I know Ruby Wax for years. Good friends of her. I did her makeup for years ago, Ruby Wax. Uh, love Ruby. Tomorrow on the radio show, Christopher Biggins is joining me because, of course, I was meant to be doing my show tonight in Tunbridge Wells. The Voir meets Christopher Biggins, but Boris said, Screw you! Uh, uh, no, 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 Radio Lavoie. That would be a good station. Wouldn't that be a good station? Look at me when they knock us out today. Regina, what else has Lavoie given you? Grief. When are you back with Rosemary Schrager? I was talking to her just the other day. Uh, we're not going to do a cooking show during lockdown, guys, so I'm sorry. But I will be posting all the episodes of Queens of the Kitchen. Nine weeks we did of that cooking. Give us a break. I'll be putting them all on YouTube so you can make all those recipes again. Goldie Horn. Oh, I like Goldie. I'm just keep the pants on. What performer would you like to do a duet with? Liza Minnelli. It's got to be. Maybe terrible. Let's do it. Uh, and do you know what else I'd really, really, really like to do a duet with? Uh, Paloma Faith. I think she's amazing. Um, Ariana Grande, because she needs to release some more music. I mean, we all loved, does he wash up? He doesn't wash up. Does he clean up? No, he never cleans up. And then she just like stopped. Well, she probably did other songs, but she's good. And she was one of my judges on BGT. Alicia, let's do a duet. Uh, nutty and off the wall and play you Sue Pollard. Oh my gosh, yes! Do it, Neil, deal, sorted, book signed, film agreed, Sue Pollard is playing Lavoie in the movie. Sing both sides now. Rows and flows of angel hair and ice cream castles everywhere and feather canyons everywhere. Why do I always get the words wrong? I've looked at clouds that way but now they only block the sun. What is that going past my window? 
I live in the countryside. That's a farm. Must be a tractor. <laughs> Do you see? It was like, oh. I was like, morning. Um, love that song. Love that song. That is on my deconstructed album on iTunes. Uh, just order your calendar. Yes, my new calendar. A better year, a better calendar. It will be. Buy yourself the Lavoir calendar today. Ooh. Lavoir.co.uk. They are dirt cheap, limited edition. The pictures are stunning, guys, by an amazing photographer called Saul from Nottingham. Uh, we had wind machines, we had locations, they are being done now by my gorgeous friend Simon. Get a 2021 Lavoir calendar, stocking filling, great Christmas gift, order now, get it sent to your loved ones, and we will get through 2021 with sparkle, glitz, glamour, no misery, lots of, there's even pictures of me being chased through the woods by zombies, what's that all about? Um, do you keep anything in your paddock? Well... I have got mole hills in my paddock. Moles keep digging up my paddock and leaving brown marks. Um, I had some horses once. I did want a billy goat, but then they would eat all my plants. So my paddock is empty. That's my paddock behind. World famous that. That was where I did my face pack video in March about wearing a face mask and uh, went viral. And that paddock has been seen all around the world. 20 million views. Thank you very much. We, we do love your singing, love one. Oh, thank you, darling. I'm a bit naughty in lockdown. I drink far too much wine, so I'm going to get croaky. I just want to thank you, and I'm sure I speak for a lot of people who live alone and feel alone. I'll oh, stop it, just you're going to make me cry. You always make us smile, spread happiness, and for all we love you all, thank you for being you. Love you, darling, Justin, and to everyone living alone. I'm alone during this. This is not easy. This is hard. Um, and we've just got to do this, haven't we? I could... Quite happily not do this. I could not put it all on and my makeup and mope around and watch the news. Don't. Don't watch the news. Don't. Don't not go outside. Go for a walk somewhere and just speak to somebody. I don't care if you go to the supermarket every day, even though people are saying don't. Just speak to someone at a till. Don't do self-service checkout. Speak to somebody. Anyone. Make a small joke. Make a conversation. Make a little quip. It will brighten your day. Post someone a card and go to the post office and buy stamps. Go and get a takeaway coffee from somewhere that's doing it and just walk up and down a street. I cannot tell you, it will lift you. You'll be quiet, there'll be no one there, you'll be perfectly safe. Wear your mask, face, hands, space, but do it. And genuinely, I love you all so much and the support you give me from this, my BBC radio show, cheers to that. Enough being sentimental, Justin, you made me cry. Oh my God, there were so many comments since that. Uh, I've ordered my new Lavoir calendar, thank you. Lavoir.co.uk, that is the website, click on shop and grab yourself a calendar. If you want to throw in a face mask and a hand sanitizer at the same time, they're all on there. You could be lavoired out during this. What is your favorite country to visit? Um, Mexico. Mexico without a doubt. Love it, the food, oh my God, the food. I would normally be in Mexico now for Halloween. Uh, obviously that was a few weeks ago, but that's when I'd be there. Love you so much, I remember Grand Canary Pride, you're amazing, thank you. Oh my gosh, Grand Canary Pride is like this week. Miss it so much, I'm gonna uh, send a little video to that organizers because they're so amazing i love sue i did her hair when she was in jersey love a bit of sue pollard that song makes me cry when you sing it i'm crying now lorraine how can you be crying when i got all the words wrong get a tissue cheer yourself up uh chloe's on a calendar you know my day singing both sides now there's not gonna be many calendars left i literally have not printing many they are so limited and they are so beautiful i'm gonna give you a little sneak peek just because you're on my live now this is the picture for january just when you thought 2021 needed lifting, to give you an idea of how fabulous these pictures are going to be. I will find it. People are people are like, you look, right, look, 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 look. That is your January image. 2021 Lavoie calendar. That is the level of pictures you're going to get. They're going to brighten up any kitchen, any office. Grab them, grab them. Don't be rude. Keep your paddock shut. I quite agree. Are you missing your French bulldog? Well, I had to rehome my French bulldog. Um, I used to love washing my French bulldog in the first lockdown. But he's doing. Louis is doing amazingly. He's on. Uh, he's been fostered back to a proper family who can look after him. Not like me, that's going to be off cruising and touring and be leaving alone. Not fair. He's with three other dogs. And if you want to follow Louis. My little uh, bulldog that I fostered, The Adventures of Louis, L-O-U-I-S, on Instagram. He's got his own page. Follow him. Can you look after the dog again? Um, I could look after a dog, but I don't, I find it too emotional. I can't do this dog fostering. 
Put a smile on my face, my banished my room with my family and COVID. Oh no, darling, keep safe, Charlie. Sending you lots of love. Um, thank you, Gaynor. Thank you, dogs are so good to talk to. Can we spread the love? Can we spread the love and share this video that I've done today? We're in the last 10 minutes. I would love you all. Just push share, push your love. Someone out there needs the company and the cheering up that's on their own. So just say, thinking of you today, and I'm sending this. And if you're watching that video, someone is thinking of you today when you're on your own in lockdown, because that friend of yours that shared this thinks you're amazing. So chin up and don't watch the blooming election. What's happening in Nevada? Why are they not counting the notes in Nevada? If you want to know why they're not counting the votes in Nevada, you need to watch my Facebook about six o'clock tonight. Barbara might be back. Uh, behind, I know, what was that behind me? Would you um, uh, know, Paul, uh, what, uh, well, I would do a show there, but I wouldn't work behind the bar. What soap would you be, what soap would you be in if he asked Corrie? Coronation Street, and I'd want to walk in the shop with Rita Faircock and buy a magazine in the cabin. <gasps> Barbara Knox, the actress who plays Rita, I'm obsessed with her. How can they give my fellow Paul a shout out? Hello, Paul! Uh, and you, Rose, be cooking live again. Uh, Paul, darling, I'm sending you lots of love from John. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Think, uh, could you play Miss Hannigan for Manny? Yes, love to. Uh, they need Barbara. They do need Barbara. I love you so much. Jesse. I love you too. Any shout outs? Anyone have a birthday this week? Let's do birthday shout outs. Make sure you tune in tomorrow to my BBC Three Counties Radio because uh, I've got Christopher Biggins on. So if you were meant to have a ticket for my show in Assembly Halls tonight, uh, you can get your fix tomorrow and they will be in touch with you about all of that, I am sure. You have amazing cheekbones. Well, I have an amazing plastic surgeon, that's what I have. Uh, nothing that is natural. I'm getting hot, I'm blotting. Oh, there it goes again. Man on the tractor. The makeup I'm wearing today, this is Huda Beauty. This is the pastels, the bright light peppermint green little palette. It's that. Uh, this is Spice by MAC uh, Lip Gloss. I used to use it on Pamela Anderson when I used to do her makeup. Love it. Uh, MAC, MAC, MAC. Uh, Revolution from Boots is my blusher. Uh, lashes, elegant lashes. And with also Lauren is making cupcakes. Would you like some? She said, Neil, I'd love some. Put some in a jiffy bag, flatten them down, and then when I come back, I'll just squash them back up. Can you be my drag mother? Are you assume, Are you insinuating that I'm a drag queen? Just you know. Yes, we were in front row for tonight. I know, Regina. I'm so sorry that Regina was coming with all your friends, weren't you, tonight to see Christopher Biggins. But it's not meant to be. We've got to stay safe. The numbers are going up, and apparently it's gone over one on the R rating. What does it mean? Don't watch the news. You'll hear it from somebody else. Could I have a shout out, please? Little while, Kath Brooks, raising my BGT mug to you and my favourite Butler and Wilson bracelet. Look, it opens up. Uh, hello, Kath. Have a fabulous day. Looking forward to seeing to Barbara again. It is probably nearer the truth. Well, it probably is, Alison. I know exactly what you're saying. Can you play Rose in Gypsy? Here she is, boys. Bam. Here she is, world. Bam. Here's Rose. Bam, nah, 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 nah. Banana, come up, light the lights. Hit it, boys. Wah, 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 wah. You've either got it or you ain't. And boys, I got it. Bum, bum, banana. You've either had it, bum, 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 or you've had it. Some people got it and make it pay. Some people can't even give it away. So some people got it, and this person's had it made. You've either got it, ba 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 Oh, you've had it. And there is the link, if you haven't got it, to my Lovoir calendar, so you can buy them on the website, darlings. Limited, limited, 2021 Lovoir calendar. You can put it up now. Put it up now and look at the most glamorous pictures. I cannot tell you how genuinely amazing and the quality of these pictures are. This isn't just me in my kitchen going, hi, calendar. This is full on glamour. You need it in your life. Great stocking filler, great Christmas present. And do you know what? You'd really help me because I've lost pantomime. An awful lot of work, just like so many people. So my calendar is what's gonna keep me eating cake in lockdown. Lorraine, cheers to that comment. I'm gonna love you and leave you now. It is five to two. Don't judge me for leaving five minutes early. There goes the person. What is that person doing on that tractor? Um, so, darlings, coming up, don't forget my final episode of Lavoie's Family Zoom Calls 
is on YouTube on Thursday. There is about eight members of my family appearing in one Zoom call this Thursday, six o'clock. It goes exclusively on my YouTube. I'm doing my YouTube more, guys, because it's just better for me with my videos. So go on, love while the show on YouTube, subscribe and watch the videos. Please, please, please. If you're not a member of my YouTube, you will get my beauty videos, my comedy videos, and all my videos go first on YouTube for about a week before I put them on Facebook. So if you're obsessed, you need to go to my YouTube, darlings. Why are you not doing it? You're missing out. Lavoir the show on YouTube. And of course, radio show tomorrow, Christopher Begins. Cannot wait. And uh, tonight, round about six o'clock, you might want to keep your eye on my Facebook. Uh, something very exciting coming in print in November in a magazine. Oh, yeah. Cover girl, put your face in that walk. Oh, don't sing that song. Overrated. Um, I think I've reached the end of all my comments. Calendars, calendars, calendars. Love you lots. Share this video for someone needs company. Get through another week. You know I'm always here. Send me a message, follow my Instagram, and I will keep you laughing through lockdown too. That's my mission. Love you all. Thank you for the support. And I will speak to you all live for BBC Three Counties Radio, available on the Sounds app tomorrow, 12 till 2, live on the BBC Radio. Love you all. Keep well. Mwah.